Image maps are used to create separately clickable areas within a web graphic. Clicking on the different areas of an image map will take you to different web pages. The graphic you use could represent anything, but this might be a typical example. Clicking on the different countries could link to web pages relating to those countries. There's a separate movie on assigning web addresses which shows you how to attach addresses to images. There are two options for exporting image maps once you've attached your hyperlinks. You can select the HTML file format when you're exporting. You might take this route if you are creating an image map out of an existing bitmap. Or you can export both the image map and bitmap at the same time by exporting the graphic in the normal manner and then going to the image map folder of the export dialog. In either case, you reach a dialog that gives you control over the various options for an image map. You can save the image map text, the map and image tags which associate the map with its images, either to the clipboard or to a specific HTML file. If you save it to an HTML file, it will overwrite any existing image map of that name within the file. Or, if it's a new name, then it will be inserted at the end of the HTML file. You can define how closely you want the outline of the clickable areas within your image map to follow the actual curved lines in your image. Selecting very closely will give the best approximation, but will also make the image map file size larger. Selecting Save all clickable areas as rectangles just places a clickable rectangle around the image. It gives a rough approximation, but the smallest file size. Now you're done. If you want to preview the image map within the browser first, then go to the Browser Preview, check the Image Map option, and click Browser Preview. You can check the links from within the preview.